we've got some smooth-brainedness happening. I posted a little short the other day of a little skirmish that was happening in my front yard. And people who none of us care for and everyone here completely ignores have found their way into Montana, into my neighborhood, into my life, people I got away from long ago. IDK, man, I love your content, but I feel like you recorded this because of their race. Why would you think that? Why would you think that? Is it because you're the racist one? This is, okay, hold on. I love you and want to be wrong, but dig deep and ask yourself if these were white people, would you ever, would you, would you have even picked up the camera? Please tell me that I'm wrong. You're wrong and you're a racist and you're a fucking moron. This is the first time anyone that I've seen in this entire state has had the, has been stupid enough to carry out this argument, this conversation, this couple's quarrel in, in my front yard, in my front yard, at my door, carrying the fucking, carrying the target order to my front door, still yelling at this other dude. Why do these people insist on doing this in public? Get, as a Montanan, this blows my damn mind. These people, black people, no. This culture of wearing your pajamas, you're at work. You're at work and you're both in flip-flops in your pajamas and I think black people wear that fucking head thing to keep their hair under control uh, at night, basically, when they're sleeping on it, right? I, they're in their pajamas fighting in my front yard. My windows open, my three children, the oldest of which is three, are sitting there listening to these people argue like this and cuss in my front yard. In my front yard. Yeah, if it was white people, I would have recorded it. It's never happened. It's never happened. It's never happened with black people either because I, well, I, I would have recorded that too. I said these are the only two black people I've ever seen in Montana. Well, really it's like four or five or six. Uh, it takes an actual racist <laughs> or misunderstanding of the world to misinterpret that to be racism. They just search for it, man. No one gives a shit. Your, the color of your skin will buy you no points, no sympathy, no hatred, no difference here. Keep that shit in San Francisco. We don't want it here. If it's a simple factor of we're far north. We don't get a whole lot of sun here. Black people don't like it here. Melanin, vitamin D absorption. What What's the confusion here? I don't like it in South Florida. I get burnt to a crisp. What's wrong with this? There's nothing wrong with this. You freaking Looney Tunes. So yeah, I would have put anyone on camera if they're fighting in my front yard. A screaming match happening oh, in the most peaceful place I've ever been in my life. Yeah, the amount of people acting like this is anything but the disintegration of society is hilarious and sad, including racism. It's this pajama wearing culture of nobody gives a shit and you, you don't have the humility enough to argue it in your own home if, you're, if you have to argue with your spouse. What, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? This is just, this is not here. We're a unique people here in Montana and uh, we don't want a part of any of it. The, the kind of person that even has a screaming match with another person is b virtually beyond our comprehension. Leave. This is, this is a mentality that comes from a place where you can't escape people. <laughs> here, you can get as far away from people as you want. I don't get it. It's pride. It's pride culture, and we don't want it here. To insist it has something to do with race blows my mind. I the, One of the only other black people I've ever seen here, met here, I met him at the little market, the little gas station up the road. Uh, 
seemed like a great guy. I think he was a veteran. I still have his card. I want to get a hold of him, uh, do some shooting. I got a hilarious race-based joke I want to put on video. All right, all right, all right, I'll tell you, because it's not going to happen anytime soon. But I want, I want a short. I want to, I want to make a short where a where a sniper is teaching me how to apply like face camo or whatever, and we're both laying behind rifles, right? We both got our own angle. It's cutting back and forth between us. Uh, he's like, yeah, start with the base layer, and then on the high spots, you want darker colors. Uh, pick out some green, pick out some brown, and then it cuts over to me, and I'm just in blackface. It's all like brown. <laughs> just cuts over to me, and uh, it's just him yelling, hey! <laughs> Cuts back to me. What? Yeah, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a blast. We don't care here. Keep that crap out of my comments. Uh, <laughs> I don't see race. We see race. What the hell is wrong with you? Don't see color. Yeah, it's a black dude in Montana. This is wild, man. It's wild. This doesn't happen very often. <laughs> it's literally just an observation of seeing a unicorn. Uh, I'd say the same thing about, uh, I don't know, a reindeer. There are some reindeer here. I'm like, wow, a reindeer. I've only seen like three of them. <laughs> wow, a dude in a, in a uh, fluorescent orange suit. I haven't seen that here before. Anywho, this was the first fight that happened in my front yard in front of my children. First fight that my children have ever witnessed. Argument that my children have ever witnessed. Uh, this should be nothing but disrespected, ridiculed, filmed, put out there for the entire world for embarrassment. Get that sh Go away. I've done all that. I've been all around all of that. I lived in Vegas for five years. That, that kind of, that culture was all over there. Just people just even in Nebraska, even in Lincoln, Nebraska, it ran into it all the time. There was this one time where I was uh, walking into a gas station, walking into a Casey's. I fueled up my car, and then I was walking into a Casey's for, I don't know, something. Red Bull, probably, to pay. I can't remember. But then there was this dude, and it is always black people. I, no, it's not always black people. But, man, frequently is it black people. I don't understand. Stop doing that. Stop embarrassing yourselves. Every reasonable black dude I've ever met is totally on my side on this. Stop embarrassing my buddies who are black. Walking in, uh, there's a guy kind of nosed up right next to the door and his hood was open. And uh, I'm just looking, uh, I'm walking up to the door, I'm looking, I'm a mechanic and I've got plenty of stuff in the truck, right? To help out, do fix whatever is the problem, especially if it's, you know, if the car made it to the gas station, it's not a big problem. What are we over? What, we're overheating. What's going on? Belt slipping. I would have happily for anyone, let's say it's the serpentine belt snapped. Who, who knows? Whatever. Uh, I would have happily given the dude, I, I would have went and bought a belt and then brought it back, stayed there for four hours and installed, you know, dropped the subframe, installed that thing in his, uh, the saber, I can't remember what the hell it was. But no, I'm walking up, I was gonna say, you know, ask what the problem was on the way out, but I'm just kind of looking, see what's going on, see if I can get a feel. He was just putting a quart of oil in his car. Uh, that's what I saw, at least a quart of oil was, you know, sitting there. I'm just looking, I'm walking to the door, I grab the door and he's like, what are you looking at? I'm like, I'm looking at you. <laughs> Nothing happened. I just walked out watching him again because now he's an aggressive threat. Just watching him as I walk back to my truck and I'm gone. That's it. How are you claiming to know people? I mean, what compels a person to be like that? What if I had just won the lottery and I'd be like, hey, I'll buy you a new car? Hey, a little a problem? There's a scratch. I'll buy you a new car right now. Let's go. I'm about to go pick up my own. <laughs> Opportunities missed, willingly missed, are uh, incredible. Anyway, short day, that's all for today. I just had Mr. Uh, Civilian Tactical message me. You want a media pass for TriggerCon? The guy organizing it watches my 
watches you channel specifically and loves it. <laughs> Did you go to TriggerCon? Uh, I have no idea where that is. What is TriggerCon? You guys want to see me at TriggerCon? All right. I'm done.